So today I went to see this speech pathologist uh, to see if she could help me um, sort out my vocal issues. Um, and basically when I went there, she said that I definitely have acid reflux and it's still definitely there. Um, so even though I guess the feeling of that stuff being, that kind of stuff in the throat kind of being gone, um, she basically said that even though that might be the case, it might feel like it's gone uh, because you've still got like information in your nose and your throat still sounds awful basically. Uh, you definitely still have reflux. So she has basically gone and put me on, you know, the typical things like the PPIs, Gaviscon. Um, um, yeah, so I'm kind of back back there. Um, but, and, and she wants me to do that in conjunction with the dieting. Now, when I explained that I'd done all the dieting stuff already and I'd done all these natural remedies and I'd even done the PPI stuff, she then asked me, well, have you been consistent with them? And I thought to myself, well, not really. I, I was never, it was never more than a, maybe three, four days at a time because I really wanted to get a natural way to work. But she basically was saying to me, well, look, you basically have to have to have the um, the PPIs and we'll do them for six to eight weeks and then we'll taper, the, taper them off uh, for you. Because I, I've, I mean, I've read so many accounts of people where they're on PPIs for years and then when they come off them, it gets really bad. Um, so I've made it clear to her and she's said that's that's what she wants too, that um, I do it for six to eight weeks and then come off. Um, so I guess it was a little frustrating in that it's she was kind of saying all the stuff that I'd heard already. Um, but she does make a good point that I was not consistent enough when I did them. So how can I really be sure that they won't that they won't work for me? Um, and it's also she was also very specific about how you take them, for example, with the uh, pantoprazole. And I can't believe I'm taking this now after seeing so many things about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, when when you're meant to take that, it's uh, 30 minutes before your first meal of the day. And she was saying to me, well, you know, if you take that five minutes before your first meal, that basically does nothing. Um, so she she was very, very particular about uh, when to do things and, and how you should do them. So that was really good. And also I was able to ask her loads of questions about the dieting and stuff. And um, and there were certain foods where usually I've heard that, oh, you shouldn't have this. And she said, oh, I was absolutely fine. Um, and I really liked how direct she was and to the point. So she basically say a load of stuff was BS, basically. Uh, which is cool. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to do six to eight weeks of the medications with the dieting. And, uh, and interestingly, with the dieting, she actually was saying a lot of the things like spicy food and stuff like that, it's more about do like have them in moderation rather than completely cut them out because at the end of the day, she was saying like you're meant to enjoy life and stuff, which is an interesting take because obviously I've been very, very strict on that stuff um, up till now. Um, so yeah. And another thing she said is um, practice humming. Do 100 hums a day. It's like this. Mm. And when you hear it croaky like that, she said, just start again. Mm. And it's croaky, so do it again. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. I mean, as you can tell, even now, it's just it's such a crap sound that's coming out my throat. <laughs> so you can imagine what I'm seeing. It's it's not great. <laughs> And um, yeah, and and now, and she also said that apple cider vinegar is something I shouldn't be taking. So I'm basically trusting her completely with this. And um, so I'm going to be stopping that from today. Um, I haven't had it today and I'm, not I'm about to go to bed and I haven't taken it. And um, says that. But yeah, yeah, doing all the med stuff. So we'll, we'll see. Um, but genuinely, there's nothing else I can really go for other than just to, to trust and trust the process. I'm an Arsenal fan, so that's why I trust the process. Um, and just, yeah, this, hopefully this will, this will work out. But yeah, this is basically like a classic acid reflux test for six to eight weeks, like to the PPIs and the um, dieting stuff. Does that work? This is what this stuff's going to be for. Um, so I'm going to do this six to eight weeks and hopefully we get somewhere soon um, because I am going insane over here. It's been just 
so long. I, I've done about 30 something videos on this channel, but this goes back years. So, well, and most of the time not knowing what was causing the throat to be like this and the nose stuff as well. Uh, uh, one more thing is that she said I should take uh, Nasonex as well for my nose. I, I mean, I've taken that stuff a million times, but in conjunction with the PPIs, because when the stomach contents are coming up and irritating your throat, they also irritate your nasopharynx as well. Um, which is maybe why I've had all this nasal inflammation over the last few years. Um, I've had two operations for my nose. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it for today. And I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Hopefully even tomorrow I'll feel slightly better, but I have no idea. No idea at all. Yeah. Okay. See you all tomorrow.